Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create this smoke effect in After Effects. Uh, there's no illustrator work here, only effects and shapes in After Effects. So we'll jump in and create our composition. Let's make a 1920 by 1080, 25 FPS, fine. All right, let's give it a, um, a background color. Let's do dark, the black. All right, lock that one. And we're going to create some shapes with our ellipse tool, no stroke and a, oops, a white fill. Yeah. All right, and we're going to, let's say, start here by creating this one. All right. And what we're going to animate is the position and the scale. So we're going to go zoom in a bit here, go to like one second, uh, place, uh, make both keyframes for position and scale, then go back to zero. I'm gonna place it down and scale it to zero. And no, wait, first we're going to put the anchor point in the middle so it scales to the middle. You can do that by with this button or go to motion if you have that and then just select this button to put it in the, exactly in the middle. And then we're going to go back, place it down and scale it to zero. And then we're going to go two seconds and place it up and to zero again. And then we can add a bit of curve in here like this. to make the ball go up, up in a curve, all right? And then select them all. And while holding option, drag the last ones to the right to um, make the distance between them bigger. Okay, you select them all, keyframe assistant, easy ease, to give it a to smooth it out a bit. No, don't ease this one of these ones. You know what? We don't need this actually. We just we need uh, one keyframe. Um, we only need the position to 100, uh, the scale to 100, not the position, of course. Yeah, like that. So there is three keyframes for scale, zero, 100, zero, and only two uh, keyframes for position, of course. And let's add the, um, this curve, make it bigger again. So yeah, like this. Okay, great. I'm gonna cut that layer off right there. And we're going to duplicate this one. And let's make the scale a bit uh, smaller so it's not quite as big and we're going to um, make this a bit different make it start a little later maybe be done a bit sooner oops the position yeah what we want is some some different uh, circles going up and they they know like four or five is enough and they don't they don't um, they can't go at the same time because we need like a bigger cloud. Uh, so to duplicate that one again, oh, press U to open all the keyframes. And let's make this one like start to the right a bit and end to the left. Okay, and this one. like this okay duplicate the first one again place them on top maybe just play with these just make them last a bit longer make this really small all right well, that should work. Now we're going to get into some expressions. And uh, let's see, uh, open our uh, expression box by holding option and clicking on the stopwatch for position here. And then we're going, going to type in uh, loop out, uh, open parentheses, 
um, and what's this called? Uh, quotation mark, and then type cycle, quotation mark, close parentheses, and then a semicolon, like that. That's our expression. Select them all and command C, and then also apply that to the scale of this one. So now it uh, this thing keeps on looping. No, it doesn't. Wait, wait, wait. I did something wrong here. Oh, of course, we need to just reveal this, of course. Uh, yeah, so make all the layers like really long because now this one just keeps looping over and over again. Uh, wait, and now it the scale, it goes to a zero and then here we can see it again. Why is that? Because this is zero, right? Zero, 100. Zero, why? Okay, it's because that does not. Oh, because it starts. Yeah, so you, the the keyframes need to end at the same time, because else my else my my uh, loop cycle from a scale already uh, starts here again, but it needs to start right there. So let's make sure that all of those keyframes uh, stop at the same point in time. Yeah, and now I can uh, paste the expression to all of these, to all of these, and now I have this cloud which is looping. So what I want is want the cloud to be continuous. So I'm going to select them all, press Command D to duplicate them, and put them on top by pressing Command end bracket, and then like put them here like a bit further in time. And then again, do the same thing again. And I guess uh, select them all and do that again, just to make them. Yeah, there you go. So now it keeps looping and looping all over again, like to infinity. And you of course can play with these parameters and make them look more random but now for just for time's sake i'm just going to duplicate them and be done with it so when we we're done with that select them all and we're going to group them together by creating a pre-comp uh pre-compose and let's call them clouds cloud all right and what we're going to do now is uh, add two effects first off it go to effect and then it's blur i think it's um, fast blur where is the fast blur let's just Blur and sharpen, fast box blur. That's right, fast box blur. That's that's the one, and we're going to uh, get the radius up to let's say in this case twelve. So it's um, nice and uh, blurry. And what this actually does, if you look closely, then it kind of blends these shapes together. Because if I turn off the blur, we have these hard lines, these hard circle shapes. But with the with the blur, they are kind of disappearing. And now we need to smooth this out again. So we're going to add another effect and that's going to color correction and curves. And with curves you can add, uh, you can change your color. But what we're going to do is open our alpha layer and then uh, here we're going to select the, our uh, pencil tool and we're going to draw a kind of a shape. It needs to be kind of like this, just to go here, go up and then go something like that so that doesn't look right so now what we can go select this one again and then we're going to um, alter this curve okay so you see when i'm moving the points here you can see the shape starting to m to um change sorry and just something like this it's a bit of trial and error to get the right amount of to get the, to get the right amount of blurriness gone and also uh, yeah like that so now it's a tight little shape just play with this curve but it needs to be kind of this shape like going to the right and a bit bubbly here go up uh, straight and hit the hit the top and then go make it a bit bubbly here. So then you can create this smoke effect. 
like that and now you can see it's still it has this kind of little little glow around it and this part and you just need to play with these parameters to make that go away but it's just ah, there you go just play with that to create it however you want so that's how you create a cool little smoke effect and if you want the um, it, uh, if I turn off the, our fast blur then it looks ugly but I can uh, scale this up and then it's even more smooth or I can just put it down a bit like only six and we, then we have a bit more definition in the in the shapes and that's just however you would like I like 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 this 14 15 um, and again you can go into the clouds and uh, just if you want to alter these shapes uh, like the position and the, the timing you can do that to create a bit more randomness uh, but yeah there is your basic uh, cloud effect um, thanks for watching that's it and i hope to see you on the next tutorial on camp keyframe thanks bye bye